heard Karen from Organic Products. Karen, how are you? I'm good, thanks. Okay, okay. And what part of Dominica do you stay? We live in Cochrane, we farm in Cochrane. Tell me some of the products that you're selling. Some of the products we sell. Today, it's different every week. Okay. But today what we have is some fennel, which is like the big brother of anise. Okay. Nani. Um, this is edible hibiscus. The leaves are used um, either as a wrap or they're cooked like any kind of calibu. Okay. This is katuk, which is another thing that can be used raw in salad. Um, okay. Taste is kind of like peanuts or peas, or it can be uh, used like kalaloo or okay. stir fry. This is a special type of Japanese sweet scallion. Um, its name is Shimonita. Um, they're, sometimes they're very big. It's very special, and okay. uh, you, you, all of it is good. Okay. This is wing beans, which are. Um, Originally from New Guinea, high protein, good for you, and they stay crispy when they're cooked. Okay. You can, or you can eat them raw. This is Chuk Chuk, well known in Dominica. Um, and these are the leaves from it, which in the Latin world are called culantro. So, so these leaves are from that plant? This is the, okay. This okay. Is the uh, flower structure. Oh, okay. And this is the leaf okay. structure. Okay. And it tastes like cilantro. Oh, which is yes. Hot, which we yes. grow too, oh, yes. but you can only grow it in a cool season. Okay. Lemongrass. Lemongrass. Uh, bay leaves. This is um, sour soft. Oh, leaves, yes, yes. Which are um, good for sleep and good for cancer and good for 10,000 other things. Okay. <laughs> Uh, seriously, it's one yes, of those it's very good because that's one of our popular videos. Um, Guan Bana, we call it. I call it Guan Bana, but it's also so so. But the, most persons know it as Guan Bana. I, I know most people in the Latin. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> um, and it's delicious. Yes. Pears, pear season, wonderful. This is um, different types of basil are called basilic here. Okay. This is a mix for cooking. It's called uh, our, we call it our pesto mix. Then we have a mix that's better for tea. Oh, best yeah, this one, this one, yeah. I and love then this we one. Have holy basil, which is your most medicinal, your strongest basil. Okay, okay. okay. Um, and what's that? Now, this is Chinese garlic chai. Oh, okay, okay. It's like halfway between. Oh, so it's like this one and this one, but that's Chinese and that's Japanese. No, no, well, <laughs> and they're slightly different. This is a sweet, um, sweet ish kind of side. This one is like halfway between onion and garlic and oh, very mild. Okay, okay. There's some nutmeg, we have moringa, um, and now I want you to turn the camera on yourself and taste that. So we're gonna try something <laughs> called the kutsu. I just have to eat it like that? Just take a bite of the leaf. Okay, is it sweet? Don't make a bad thing. <laughs> okay, we're gonna take this one. How was it? Not bad. <laughs> Not bad at all. It started out sort of bitter. No, it's almost sweet. Almost sweet. So it's not bitter and then sweet. Its other name is sweet leaf. Sweet leaf. Yes. <laughs> sweet leaf. It's, is it part of the stevia family? There's a it leaf I'm not, looking for. I know stevia family. It's, as far as I know, it's not that. Okay, 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 okay. So this is an interesting plant. I might actually, I might actually get this one too. I might get this one too. But I'm mainly going to buy the basil. The basil to make the um to make the tea that's what i'm going to buy um but it was a very good interview with karen from organic product and root organic product root farm they're in cochrane okay then mr green Come sweet. seems like we cannot get time for you because customers no, keep going for all that is that. good all that is good all that is good sweet, sweet and sweet it was a special for me you know right. you see right now there yeah? I don't do all that. <laughs> sweet and sweet. Oh, you want a, a big slice? No, let me go. It don't make any sense. All right, Thank sir. you. Have a blessed day. Okay, so we're here going, Vidal. Let's see if we can get a moment of this time because the customers are just rolling in. Mr. Vidal, when were you the youth award um, recipient? I can't remember the year. Um, I believe maybe. 2013 or 20, to that extent. Yeah, 2014, yeah. 2014, 2012. Yes, 2014, 2012. I believe, something, I believe to that 2013, 2012, around that time. Okay, okay. And tell us quickly about your business, KB Enterprises Online. Well, KB Enterprises basically deals with um, crop livestock and agro processing. Yes. And 
the main part we in it that captures the most publicity, well, apart from the watermelon, is yes, the, the agro-processing part of it, where I do um, confectionaries, gooseberry, tablet, coconut chips, this type of confectionery. So and I, I package them, I label them, and, um, and most importantly, and mainly I cater for the diaspora. Okay, good. So good. I send it out. I receive money online. Okay. And so if someone have to, because I will eventually post your your website or your Facebook page yeah. on this video, and if they had to order some tablets, um, they just have to message you on Facebook. Well, they message right? me on Facebook. I don't okay. have a, a website to okay. say, but they, I deal with via Facebook. So okay. they message me on Facebook, and we communicate from there. Okay. And then. And what's your most popular product the diaspora uh, is requesting? Gooseberry. <laughs> they love, they gooseberry. love gooseberry. They love gooseberry. Okay, gooseberry okay, okay. Okay. High okay. After gooseberry, it's coconut cheese and tamarind ball. Okay, then. So tamarind this ball. Type of confectionaries, because just, just that tamarind ball is a, a seasonal crop. Yes, so yes. So we have to store it for the rest of the year. Okay. But gooseberry and coconut, gooseberry, coconut cheese, tamarind ball, all of the above. Um, okay. Tablet, logo, ginger cake. Just name it, Dominicans love the confectionery. And the diaspora, I love it too. The diaspora, especially, <laughs> and you, 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 you know how much they love it by the, the feedback you get, you know, when they, they, and how fast they consume it. Yes. And I always try to tell them, you purchase online. You're not going to purchase online every day because you're not in Dominica. So try to purchase a quantity that you'll be satisfied. Because they will purchase one or two containers and after two days they'll tell me, they need more. Ah. So and the cost of shipping is a bit high because okay. as you know we don't have a lot of mediums here to ship. Okay, that's so, true. Um, I always try to tell them whenever they get to whenever they get to purchase, especially when somebody is traveling. Right. Like um, usually if somebody's traveling, if they know somebody's traveling, they always make an order. So whenever somebody is traveling, okay. try to see the most you can get. Okay, and what about um, Creole Festival is coming oh, um, up, Creole Season. The... That's exactly why I'm making this film because <laughs> Avocado Season. <laughs> yeah, the, the peak period, Creole Festival, Carnival and Summer. Okay, that's great. The, the peak period. Uh, okay. That is when you have a lot of people traveling. Okay. Uh, and that time is extremely busy. Oh, it's okay. Like, okay. Extremely, extremely, extremely busy. busy. Okay, so as we go out, uh, can you tell us Agrosway for signature Agrosway? Agrosway! <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much.